BBC News with Eileen McHugh. The Israeli army says it's completely encircled Gaza City as the Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said the height of the battle had been reached. The IDF said soldiers were engaged in close quarters combat with Hamas fighters. Israel is also continuing its airstrikes on the Palestinian territory. The UN says 20 people have reportedly been killed in a school used as a civilian shelter as deadly Israeli airstrikes continue. Hezbollah says it has simultaneously attacked 19 targets in Israel in its most intense assault since the Israel-Hamas war started. Israel said it was striking Hezbollah targets in Lebanon in response. In other news, the US House of Representatives has voted to send more than $14 billion of security aid to Israel. But the Republican-controlled chamber separated the funding from a wider bill linking it with assistance to Ukraine. That means it's unlikely to pass in the Senate. Relatives of the jailed Iranian activist and Nobel Peace Prize laureate Narges Mohammadi say she's being denied urgently needed medical treatment for refusing to wear a hijab. They say she's suffering from heart and lung conditions. The tech billionaire Elon Musk has said artificial intelligence will one day take away the need to work and the biggest challenge for humans in the future will be how to find meaning in life. In a public event with Britain's Prime Minister Rishi Sunak, Mr Musk also warned of humanoid robots that might turn against us. And a former police officer in the US city of Memphis has pleaded guilty to charges related to the killing of the black motorist Tyree Nichols. Desmond Mills is one of five black officers facing prosecution. The district attorney said he'd agreed to cooperate with prosecutors, raising the possibility he could testify against his former colleagues. BBC News.